This is a Quantum Edge 2.0 eye level. So this power chair has one mile. So it's as new as you're going to get, one mile. So it was delivered, probably never used. It has four electrical function. It has the 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, and the electric legs. Four electrical function. Uh, all the functions with this chair have to be worked through the joystick. So you would go to the joystick, and as soon as you push forward, you're on outdoor fast. And keep going forward until you see a picture of the seat. And I'm going to start with the seat lift. So if you only have the bottom yellow, that's what's going to be working through your joystick. If you pull the joystick back, your seat lift is going to start going up. You're going to start roughly at 22 when it's down. You're going to add 12 inches. You'll be at 34 inches when you're all the way up, which we, if you're sitting in the chair, the eye level almost, if you're talking to someone. So 22 when it's down, 34. Right now, this is the height of 34 inches, okay? The nice thing about these quantum eye level, this is the only chair that will drive on the market at three miles an hour when I can't make it go three miles an hour and you'll have to take my word for it but you can see right now I'm going at least two, two and a half so it's the only chair that will drive at that speed with the seat elevated if we look at the base right here we've got 14 inch wheels, solid wheels caster wheels in the front, caster wheels in the back You've got the heavy duty anchor points here and here. You have two on this side and two on the opposite side. You have four of these. This is where you tie your chair to your van or to your lift for transportation. You use these hooks right here. You have a motor for each wheel. Right now, the chair, the way it's set up, weighs about 400 pounds. So uh, if the chair broke down on you, you can't push it because it's in here. You can see it right there, it's in here. But if you turn the power off on your joystick, Bring the seat down before you turn the power off. Bring the seat down. Push the lever in right here on both sides, and now your wheel is unlocked. Amazing how easy these chairs are to operate. Back up, and you have a 400 pound chair back in gear, okay? This is the seat lift. It's got four poles holding the seat lift, two on this side, two on the opposite side. Your actuator for the seat lift is actually right here. You can see how well constructed this chair is. These are just fantastic power chairs. They are very dependable. You know, there's a lot of moving parts. We've got very little issues with these chairs. These are very nice power chairs. High quality power chair. So I'm going to turn the power back on. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring the seat back down. And back down is this way. Yep. So the seat's going down now. This chair also has what's called a swing away joystick. So what that means, you can swing the joystick away from the front to the side to so give you more room if you're going under a table. Now it's set up on the right hand side. If you're left handed, we can put the joystick on the left. There's a cup holder on the left side, we can put it on the right side and switch it everything to the left side. So now, the second feature I'm going to show you is called the electric tilt. The electric tilt is when the base right here goes back. Well, when this base goes back, it's going to take your legs and it's going to take your back together because they're all connected. So electric tilt means that's going to come, that's going to go, everything's going to go in one piece. This is called the electric tilt. Okay? The next feature I'm going to show you is called the legs. So if you're five feet tall or six foot two, it doesn't matter. We can adjust these, there's two screws right here. We can pull these shafts out and make these legs any length that you want. They'll still be electric. So if you want a good circulation, this will be extreme. You know, you're way up in the air. You could be halfway tilted down. And you can stop anywhere, any position you want. I'm just gonna bring it to halfway down. Just to show you that right here, you're still, your legs are still higher in your body, so if you need some circulation, there's a good way to do it right there. These are wonderful, easy chair to operate. It might take you a few minutes to learn the joystick, but once you have that mastered, uh, it's going to be really easy. The next, the last of the four features is the electric recline. The electric recline is just the back going back by itself. That's called electric recline. So, 
We'll see how far it'll go. So it's a full recline. So if you were laying in this chair right now, your head would be here. This is your positioning with the seat. So you could have, definitely sleep in this chair. And you don't have to do this. You could be tilted also. And that would be a good way to sleep in it too. So I'm going to bring this back up. The noise you hear in the back is just the plastic cover touching the, the back of the seat. Plastic cover touching the when it gets all the way down. That's, that's normal. So I'm going to bring the back back up to normal. I'm going to bring the legs back down. So when you're outside, make sure that your legs are always out a little bit so there's clearance under your foot plate. I wouldn't want you to hit a curb or hit something and damage because I've had someone do that before. It's very expensive. So keep your legs out like that when you're out traveling. Gives you a little more clear. Plus these legs are not all the way down right now, so there's, on that one there's plenty. But we've got something, we've only got it three inches and it's a little too close for comfort. All right, this chair also has what's called flip-up arms. These are the only blemish that I notice on this chair is right here. So I don't know what happened here. It looks like it's glued. We try to clean it. These are gel arms. You can see these are really, really expensive arms. And there's no way I can clean this off of here. I try to scrape it. I try to do whatever I could do to get this. It won't come out. So this is the only blemish on the chair. And these are real expensive arms. I'm going to leave it the way it is there. Okay. So you do have gel arms. I'm going to turn the chair around. The seat on this chair, I'm going to put this arm off so you can see a little bit better. There's lateral pads on this chair. So these pads, what they do is they keep your knees on your foot plate. Okay? And they can be taken out and they can be moved up and down on this shaft right here. You've got an air cushion. This is an air cushion. This is an 18 by 18 Rojo air cushion. Okay? You can adjust. This is the most expensive cushion you can get. You can adjust the air in here with a plastic pump. We have one here. Good. So you get a little plastic pump that comes with your robo cushion. You just put it on the valve. There's a valve that sticks out from the cushion. You put the pump on the valve like, like so. A little deeper. Then you unscrew the valve and then you just you can pump air in the cushion and then you shut the valve when you have the desired firmness or softness on your cushion. This comes with your cushion, with your chair, okay? You also have a drink cup holder right here that's removable if you don't want it on there during the day. Then you just slide in there when you're ready to go somewhere. These are protection for your legs here. They can be adjusted out or in to keep your legs also in the foot plate. In addition, you have these custom lateral pads here. On the back of the chair, uh, we've got your adjustable headrest. Also, this chair has a light kit. There's a little toggle switch right here. It's not installed yet, but I will put it somewhere for you. You see the little handle here? If I click this and I turn the lights off, you'll see the lights on the chair here. So this chair is set up with uh, the light kit. So you can see the front light and you can see the back light on the wall. So if you're going down the road, that's what you're looking at. Going down the road, you can see the light on the wall there. So it gives you a good, good lighting kit. So this chair is set up with a light kit. And this little button right here, it's not installed yet. This little toggle button here, I'll have it either under here somewhere where you can get to it accessed easily so it's not in the way, okay? So you do have the light kit for this chair but it was never installed. So the lights are there, but the button was never installed. So I'll leave that there for now. Okay, oh, gotta turn the lights off. Lights are off, okay? When you charge the batteries on this chair, you take your quantum charger and you plug it below your joystick. And as soon as the light goes to green, the charger will stop charging. So when you see the green light on here, steady, not blinking, steady green light. That means the batteries are full, the charger has turned off. So the chargers these days are very smart, they know when to turn off, okay? So let's recap this beautiful power chair. Turn over if you can see it. The color on this chair, I'm assuming it's black, okay? So this is a Quantum Edge 2.0 I-Level. It has the 12-inch seat lift, the electric tilt. 
the electric recline, the electric legs. It has the swing away joystick, it has the gel arms, flip up arms, lateral pads, it has the safety belt, the robo cushion, it has the light kit on the fenders, it has the adjustable headrest, the great suspension, solid tires, drain cup holder, and this chair has one mile and it's ready to go. As you can see, I let the joystick go at full speed right by my truck. These chairs will stop within a foot or two, no matter how, if you, I was going six miles an hour there. So this is the black Quantum Edge 2.0 eye level with the 12 inch seat lift, the tilt, the recline, the legs, one mile, practically brand new, just a super smooth, as you see, if you watch my video, they're all right the same. These are high quality, super smooth in the concrete. My grass is a little rough, but it went through there like it was nothing. As long as you got good bottom in your grass, you're good. And it's ready to go. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We are a family-owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available, not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800-677-6293 or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com.